Hey everyone, I'm Instructor Brooks, and in today's lesson, we're gonna talk about the passive insufficiency of the biceps. So I'm gonna show you how to put them in the passively insufficient position and how to do a little self-stretch. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. Hey guys, I'm here with Megs and Skittens to show you passive insufficiency of the biceps brachii. So remember, we gotta go the opposite of all the actions. So the bicep is going to flex the elbow, which most people remember. It also helps flex the shoulder, long head of the bicep for sure, right? So we need to extend that shoulder, extend that elbow, and pronate, because it helps with supination. So to do this, and she is, has plenty of flexibility, so I'm gonna pretend she doesn't so you can see what it would look like if it's tight. So we're gonna extend that shoulder. I'm gonna pronate the forearm. And then you're gonna extend that elbow. And then they're gonna feel that stretching in the biceps. So let me get over here, demonstrate again. Extend that shoulder, pronate the forearm, and then try to extend the elbow. And see, so she can actually get full extension. It's pretty crazy, especially with that pronation. You add that pronation there, it makes a big difference. And that is the passively insufficient position for the biceps brachii. Let's get to it. All right, guys, down in the gym, I'm gonna show you the cell stretch for the biceps brachii. So there's three motions we gotta do. So remember, the bicep's gonna flex the shoulder, flex the elbow, and supinate the forearm. So we gotta go opposite of that. So I'm gonna pronate the forearm, extend the elbow, and extend the shoulder. I think one of the easiest ways to do this on your own, if you ever had to do this, which honestly, hardly anyone ever has to do this. I'm gonna hold this here, and I'm gonna use the stick to start extending my shoulder back to stretch out that bicep. And that's one of the few muscles that is actually not tight on me, crazy enough. But I can feel that in my bicep there. Apply a little more pressure if you wanna increase that stretch. Remember acute static stretching at least 90 seconds multiple times, if that's your thing. And that is your at home bicep stretch. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That's gonna help this channel grow and it's gonna help you grow by becoming a part of our community of knowledge seekers. And smash that like button so that I know that the video was helpful. And if you click the bell, you're gonna get notifications on our most recent uploads so you can follow us live, which is one of the best ways to continually grow your understanding. And if you got all those things taken care of, then just have an awesome day. And remember, knowledge is power. Oh,